The community of Brandon is rallying behind a family after they lost a husband and father in a deadly crash last week. Tonight, we are learning more about Luke Reimers and how he is being remembered. Kel Land's Renee Ortiz takes us to Brandon for tonight's top story. It's been one week since Luke Reimers died in a fiery crash on Interstate 29 in Lincoln County, a loss that is still hard to process for those who knew him. Somebody that is that magnetic to the community, it's not easy for anyone. At 39 years old, that's not what's supposed to happen. We know every day it does happen, but when it's this close to home, it is shock. Reimers and his family have lived here in Brandon for over a decade. Reimers himself was a member here at the VFW for several years. When his brothers here found out what had happened, they decided to come together to rally behind the family. We've lost people before, we'll lose people again but we'll never let them fail and we'll never let their families fail. Reimers was a Marine combat veteran. He served in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Kuwait over the span of 12 years. After his service, he joined the Brandon VFW and served as commander. Harris says Reimers continued to serve his community. When you get out of the service, that doesn't end. And Luke brought that to the VFW and back out into Brandon. The group is now raising money for Reimers' family and will do what they can to honor Reimer's memory. But we won't stop. We'll carry him forward and go on. In Brandon, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. A memorial service for Reimer's will be held at the Military Heritage Alliance on, at 12 on Friday. You can find a link to the GoFundMe on this story online.